We've already looked at the aggravating effects of power and aileron on the spin recovery and why they're an important part of the pair recovery process. Now let's look at the elevator. And there's a reason the last two letters of pair, rudder and elevator, are in the order that they're in. So what happens if you unload the elevator, you move the stick forward and pitch the airplane down about the lateral axis, lowering the angle of attack away from the critical and increase lift on the wing before you put the rudder in? Well, let's have a look at unloading the elevator too early. Let's enter the spin in the normal way. We'll let it develop. Now we're in a normal upright left spin, now let's unload the elevator. Notice the spin rate increasing because I've unloaded the stick, decreased the angle of attack. Now, to recover, let's put the elevator back, opposite rudder, unload the stick, and we've done a normal recovery. It should be obvious now how critically important it is to bring in the rudder before the elevator. You will significantly delay or make impossible a recovery from the spin due to the increased lift and spin rate. Completing our look and investigation of upright spins, aggravations of upright spins, and proper recovery methods, and why the pair procedure is important that it be done in the right order, let's look at a botched spin recovery. I'm gonna go from an upright spin to the left and botch the recovery by coming in with right rudder, then pushing the stick not just to the neutral position to unload the wings, but all the way forward the spin is going to go from upright left to inverted right. And this is also going to prove the point that there's no way to get into an inverted spin unless the pilot does it on purpose. After all, when would you on purpose push the stick all the way forward? What manner of flight other than an aerobatic maneuver would require the stick to be all the way forward? Some pilots find this rather alarming when the transition occurs like this one. At 7,000 feet. Again, I'll start the upright left. Yep, and then just a plain vanilla upright left. Okay, and then we'll kick it into the right with full stick. R yeah, just go right and then just push yep. that stick all the way forward. All right, you ready? Essentially, it's a botched recovery. Yeah, makes sense. Ready when you are. Okay, so here's entry, left. Yeah, let it, let it develop. Okay. okay, now. All right, and here we go. Right. Whoa, okay. Oh boy. Woo. Holy ah. <laughs> Oh my god. That was insane. <laughs> we enter the spin. Left footed spin. We let it develop. Now, we botch the recovery. Right rudder stick all the way forward. We're suddenly in an inverted spin. Recovery power, aileron, opposite rudder, elevator, and recover. Like I said, some pilots find that transition rather alarming. Here's a question. Can you enter an upright spin from an inverted flight attitude? For instance, what if at the top of a loop while the airplane's inverted, I enter the spin the way I've been demonstrating throughout this whole series by pulling back the stick and adding the rudder? Will it be an upright spin or will it be an inverted spin? While you're thinking about the answer to that question, let me demonstrate the maneuver. We enter a loop. At the top of the loop, I'm going to pull the power, stick back, right rudder. What kind of spin will this be? Oh look, we entered an upright, right turning spin. Normal recovery. Power's off, aileron's neutral, opposite rudder, unload the stick, and we've recovered the spin. So the answer to the question is, if you tell the airplane to do an upright spin, even though it's in an inverted flight attitude, it will eventually spin upright. The airplane only does what the pilot tells it to do, and the pilot must know how to talk to his airplane. Airplanes don't do whatever they want. They do whatever the pilot tells them. And if the pilot doesn't know what he's telling the airplane to do, well, that's how people get into trouble in airplanes. Go ahead and click that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It's been a lot of fun producing this. I'm privileged you're looking at it, and I hope you keep watching.